Hello aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telesco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about factory design pattern. Now what exactly factory design pattern is, so let's say you have an interface and you're, you have multiple implementation for the same interface. Okay, example you have an interface called as OS and uh, we have the implementation as Android OS, we have Windows OS and then we have iOS, right? Now, if you want to create an object or if you want to instantiate that OS, you have to use some uh, one of these OS, right? Either you can use Android, you can use, uh, Mac, you can use iOS or you can use Windows. Now, how to mention that which one you want? So, depending upon your requirement, you will, you, will, uh, you will create object of different class, right? Maybe Android or Windows or iOS. Now, what we want, we want to hide the logic of object creation from the user. So in order to do that, we can create, uh, we can use a pattern which is this uh, factory design pattern. Now how to do that, let me create a class here. This will be our main class, so we'll say this is uh, factory main, okay, in which we'll be having a main method. So let me say it is uh, public static void main, in which we'll be having a string parameter. Again, so oh, I just misspelled it. Now, what I will do, I will create one more class, uh, not class, this time we will create an interface and we will name this o, uh, interface as OS, which will be having in a package which is com.phone. So, we have an interface which is uh, com.phone in which we will be having an interface which is OS, and every OS will have some features, let's say public void. Uh, we'll print the specs of this OS. So what are what are the specs of this OS? Okay, so we have a method here which is void spec. Okay, nothing so nothing uh, much fancy here. Now what I have I have multiple implementation of the same OS. So let me create a class and this class will be let's say Android. So we have the first Android and we'll say public void spec. If I, if I run this code, uh, the output it should print is uh, most powerful OS. Okay. Uh, next will be your one more class. This will be uh, your iOS. And in this also, you will be having a method which is specs. And we are going to also implement our interface which is uh, OS here in this case and we need to implement all the methods of OS so we have to say implement un unimplemented methods and in this let me print most secure OS okay and here also we need to implement OS so we have to say implements OS so we got two classes and let me get one more last class which is Windows in that case so let me get a class which is Windows right and for this, again, I have to say implements OS and we need to implement all the methods, which is, uh, luckily we have just one method here, which is spec and we'll say spec, uh, what, what, what can I say now for Windows, uh, I'm about to die. Okay, so, so that's the uh, implementation for Windows. So we have three OS, which is Android, iOS, and Windows, and then we are providing the method, which is spec. Now, in order to create object of, object of this class or this interface, so we have an interface, which is OS, and we can say obj equal to, not obj, we'll say this is, uh, yeah, we'll keep it obj. And then if I say new Android, so if I go for new Android, if I say obj dot spec, if I call this method, Okay, we got an error. Okay, we need to import the package here. So, we package imported. And if I run this code now, you can see with the output we'll be getting is spec, which is most powerful OS. If I change it to uh, Windows, it will print. Oh, we're going to import the package. So, if, it, if I run this code, it will print, I'm about to die. Right? But we are providing the implementation here itself, right? And if in future, if you want to change it from Windows to OS, you have to change this code, you have to recompile it. That means your client knows that which, which classes you are working with because you are exposing this Windows keyword here. 
Now what factory pattern says, instead of creating directly object, what you can create is create a class and we'll name this uh, class as uh, operating factory, we'll say operating system factory. So this is a factory which will give you object of those OS. So in this we'll be having a method, we'll say public void get instance, just get instance okay and okay get instance what is the spelling of instance instance maybe this one so let me go with a keyword we'll say get instance and it will return the object of not fact with it will return object of os and here in this you have to mention the type of the uh, type of type of your os so we can say string str string and will return object of os now depend upon what type of string we are passing. So if your string is, if your string dot equals, if you want to run a open source OS, which is Android. So if I say open, it should return the object of new Android. Okay, we need to import the package again. So we return object of Android. Else, if this is, uh oh, let me type a mistake. Else it will return or else if to be specific if it is str dot equals if this is equal to closed platform which it will return new iOS okay and we'll say else if nothing matches will return new windows okay and let, let me again import the package so we have a uh, uh, why, why to input the package? So we have a factory class here which is operating system factory. Depend upon the string you pass, if you pass open it will give you object of Android. If you pass close it will give you object of iOS. If you pass, if you pass anything else it will give you Windows. Now then question is how to get object of that? First object we require is operating system factory. We'll say this is OSF equal to new operating system factory. And here, instead of saying new windows, we can say osf dot get instance. Uh, well, I think the spelling is wrong, right? It is instance instance. Ah, so the, that's right. So we have instance, and then we can pass a string. So if I pass a string like open, I want an open OS, and if I run this, we got the most powerful OS, which is Android. And if I pass close. And if I run this, we will get iOS, which is most secure OS. And if I pass uh, anything, anything which is not op open and closed, it will print, I'm about to die. Okay. So since we are using a factory object, so what is factory, which manufacture your object, right? So this is a class which gives an object. That's why it is called as factory design pattern. Now, even if you have extra class in future, it will not change your client application. It will change it will change this class, but not the client application. And that's the amazing thing about factory design pattern. And this is one of the most amazing design pattern which will be used a lot when you when you are when you are doing Java development. Okay. So I hope you have cleared the concept of about factory design pattern. So make sure you subscribe the channel because we will be discussing about more fact more design patterns in the further tutorials. So yeah, thank you.